hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology nice to see you back so finally after four days i'm making a video again and this is from my bedroom in my home in guwahati <laughs> i'm very sure the video is not very clear because the light is very dim here but from now on i will try to make the video when i'm in the daytime here because the day was very busy nonetheless now is the time to make the video on saturn's direct motion into the nakshatra of mula which has started from today or maybe now itself <laughs> 6 september was the most awaited day for all the enthusiasts of astrology india and all the other places in this planet because saturn which is the planet of duty structure commitment authority yes our dealings with subordinates and our submission to the authorities and our inner ability to go and cross ahead challenges and difficulties that planet is now direct in the nakshatra of mula all right so i have made many videos on this on the retrogression and now i will speak on how to see this transit in mula nakshatra all right so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding your saturn or your original saturn's placement and how is this retrogression and this direct motion going to affect you or anything else regarding your career or marriage or relationships or affairs or your health then you can go to my website and book a reading with me you will find the link to the website in the description of this video below and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him all right so now we know that saturn had entered mula nakshatra last year 26 january which is supposedly the republic day of india also last year it had entered not this year last year and from that time it is going front it's going back back front oh my god <laughs> what a crazy energy this has been 2017 and 18 will i think probably will be one of the craziest years in the history because saturn is not going retrograde and direct in a ordinary nakshatra it is going direct and retrograde it has been i mean since 2017 january in the most powerful nakshatra of the zodiac belt why do i say powerful powerful doesn't mean it makes you a millionaire but it is mula nakshatra comes in 0 to 13 degrees of sagittarius the first uh nakshatra within sagittarius is mula nakshatra and the word mula shows mool mool means roots as i said na mool tattva so this means that whenever any planet transits into mula nakshatra whichever houses that planet is ruling in your chart related to that you will be forced to uproot things and plant new things it will always happen now the scary thing is when a planet like saturn moves in oh my god <laughs> because saturn itself shows putting roots so saturn in mula can be a very difficult but a very harmonious energy and it has been that way also many people have been telling me that the houses which saturn has been ruling i mean which saturn rules in your chart in your birth chart depending on your ascendant those houses have been on a ride it has happened for me and i'm very sure it has happened for you also since january 26th 2017 all right so when saturn had entered sagittarius it will first enter mula nakshatra so then what saturn does is it will force us to put to uproot the things which we were thinking will give us happiness in life but somehow we will realize that we would have realized that they were not meant to be so and not only did it uproot the things it would have also planted new roots all right but then what happened saturn was going and then it went retrograde then not only it went retrograde it went retrograde back to scorpio last year then it stopped in scorpio and then from there again it started and now it was going direct in mula and now again it stopped around long time back and then it went retrograde from april and near about i don't know the exact dates and that time we had put some new roots during the last year and now we are again throwing them out 
since april oh my god that's terrible because of this what had happened was there's too much chaos and confusion which was there in the atmosphere but now finally as i always say that when a planet goes retrograde it appears from our viewpoint that it is moving backwards which means that the significations of that planet and the houses which the planet is ruling we are going back in point of history regarding something which we had already done to redo it or to change it it's like doing homework suppose you go to a class and the teacher says a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square and then you are like oh what is a plus b then the teacher says oh you don't know what is algebraic uh, addition go back to one year and then study properly and come so retrogression of planets is like that either something very 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 strong and very important starts or it ends when it goes retrograde you end it and you start it again from the scratch or you complete it and you try to do something totally different which you did not plan that you will do so now finally the entire retrogression in mula nakshatra is over all right saturn will not be going retrograde again in mula nakshatra because that's the galactic center and that is the point from where all the higher frequencies of the universe descend spiritual potential is there in mula nakshatra is the highest all right why because when the pers- when a planet is in scorpio or other than saying planet you can see the scorpio zodiac sign in itself scorpio shows the sinful indulgences of our past and then when we come to sagittarius we are coming into the original ninth house which is the house of divinity which is the house of god so then what happens is now we have realized in mula nakshatra that doing sinful activities will not give us happiness then we look to the galactic center from where the higher frequency higher vibrational things they come into our consciousness and then what happens is we try to throw it and then we try to do it again all right now the direct motion is going to start it means it has already started okay so because of this what happens is now we will plant new roots all right we were already planting the new roots we had uprooted it and now we will again plant new roots all right depending on the houses which saturn is ruling in the chart so you can say see whichever house saturn is ruling in the chart and now till october november end saturn is going to be in mula nakshatra at all costs all right i think november end it is entering purvashada so now what will happen is it is in third pada of mula nakshatra and then it will go for these 2 3 months al- almost till november end. so now is the time we will build roots for the next 30 years because saturn will take 28 30 years to come come back again all right so that is what i will say that now is the time that you build roots build foundations all right yeah and apart from that there's something which is very important you can do we can do one very nice mantra for this time because see what happens is saturn is a very intense planet actually it, the planet itself is not intense it is very slow but that is why it is still very intense because when it moves slow we are forced to look so deep down into things which we do not like and that is a very 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 intense experience moon is a very fast moving planet so the things come and go very fast when it comes to our mind but when it comes to discipline we need to ensure that we are having the right discipline and by that we need to make sure that we stick to our schedules so if you are making a schedule today and tomorrow you are breaking no it, it's not going to work that way so when saturn is going going to be direct now as from tomorrow or maybe from today then we can chant one mantra this is one of the vishnu mantras and it is very helpful for saturn so the mantra is om namo narayanaya this mantra is for saturn why because saturn is the karaka for the 6th house 8th house and 12th house okay so wherever saturn is placed in your birth chart 
you will always see the traits of dustanas in that house which is delays setbacks disappointments all those things okay i will not go again uh, into details but when we are chanting this mantra we are ensuring that we are staying grounded so till november end every day it's like september october november three more months you can chant this mantra om namo narayanaya and many western audience have requested me to say the mantras two three times so i am saying again om namo narayanaya om namo narayanaya so this mantra you can chant you if you are a lady and if you are concerned that can i chant this during periods yes you can chant this there is no problem you can chant it in the day in the afternoon in the evening in the night at 12 o'clock 1 o'clock there is no restriction you don't need to be a brahmin you don't need to be a chhatriya or a vaishya shudra you don't need to be american or russian or german anybody anybody can chant this all right any age group no initiation no diksha nothing is required at least for this all right because this is one of the very general speci- general mantras which everybody can chant for saturn and even after when saturn leaves mula nakshatra even then you can continue chanting this because this is primarily for the eighth house the eighth house deals with reju- rejuvenation so now what happens is when saturn is transiting mula nakshatra it can happen that the experiences are becoming so intense that we feel that we need to dig the ground and put something but sometimes that can take too much of our mental energy we can now see that's a harmonious energy but the problem is many people are not spiritually elevated to handle that level of energy so you can feel that the houses which saturn is ruling in your chart those houses are becoming too much stressful you can feel that so for that you need to chant this mantra so now when you chant this mantra it will not happen that the problems will disappear related to those houses but whatever happens you will be able to go ahead and carry on with your life and it's very important that you do this mantra because then you will have the blessings of lord narayan all right so that that is one of the very beautiful mantras which you can chant and there are other mantras also which you can chant but for now specifically this mantra you can chant because once you start chanting this you will start cleansing yourself which is the 8th house and then you will have you will be able to sleep properly which is the 12th house and then you will be able to work properly which is the 6th house so if the 8th house is, has a problem the 12th house will have a problem if you are not rejuvenated then there's a problem you see <laughs> so that's why you need to chant this mantra okay and you can start chanting this friday or saturday or whenever you are seeing this video you can start chanting if it's a thursday or tuesday wednesday no problem any time any hora nothing you need to check no no problems with any specific ascendants either saturn is a functional malefic or benefic for your chart it doesn't matter all right you can simply chant this mantra this will help you in rejuvenation and you will be firmly able to put ground on the things which saturn is ruling in your chart and the last thing i would say is if you have planets in mula nakshatra in your original birth chart okay then this energy can be a bit intense but the good thing is for the next 28 29 30 years the roots will be built so now is the time that you build foundations and saturn as per your ascendant whichever houses it rules in your chart but more than that you have to see that it is originally the ruler of the 10th house and the 11th house because it rules the sign capricorn and aquarius which is the original 10th and 11th signs so because of that you will realize that wherever saturn is transiting you will feel that there is lot of karma associated and lot of desires will come into forefront because 10th house deals with karma karma is primarily work which you do so those houses which saturn is ruling they can undergo a mula nakshatra experience but apart from that your life in general and especially if your ascendant is in capricorn or aquarius then your lagna lord is transiting in mula nakshatra wow fantastic <laughs> then now you you your entire whole life is going to be about building new roots and by the beginning of december you will tell yourself yes now my roots are ready and once the roots are ready you can sit peacefully and you can do your meditation you can have your relationships everything can be there all right 
so that is what i will say it's the best time that now you build foundations and roots for the next 30 years and improve yourself and whichever house saturn is ruling be happy regarding those houses because now saturn will force you to build roots all right and don't waste time gossiping with people about who is getting married to whom who is having an affair or don't waste time watching things like big boss game of thrones all the useless rubbish garbage of this world <laughs> don't waste time seeing movies or reading books like harry potter yes so many elderly people also they keep doing all this so now is the time that you become serious because saturn is the great disciplinarian as we know so now he is telling us that instead of flirting with other members of the opposite sex now let's do some spiritual practices and ultimately always remember sagittarius is the original ninth house so now is the best time that you take to mantras all right now is the best time that you start reading scriptures now is the best time that you go to a holy place now is the best time that you go and meet one of your gurus now is the best time that you go and find a spiritual retreat center within within your city town country village or whatever it is now is the best time that you try to connect with god mula nakshatra is all about the higher empowerment it shows empowerment which comes from god okay so instead of doing things like silly remedies of saturn some silly remedies i'll tell you which i honestly think you don't have to do like walking on saturdays giving donations on saturdays these are some standard default remedies which are good but not but they don't help you at the ultimate level you see so instead of doing all those things giving donations in the whole of saturn or on saturdays or to poverty stricken people try to read the scriptures and get spiritual knowledge now is the best time the next three months best time it is you cannot get even if jupiter transits to mula nakshatra within one year or one and a half years you will still not get that feeling because jupiter only gives optimism remember which is also important but saturn gives you the discipline to work so now is the time that you can work for your spiritual progress okay you will not get this in the next 30 years so when i am in my 50s or 60s then again saturn will enter mula nakshatra but god knows that time i am there or not all right so there you go if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know about mula nakshatra and you can suggest them this mantra okay and if you want a consultation regarding your saturn or if you have any planets placed in mula or your saturn is afflicted or any other area like marriage or cons career or health or anything else affairs then you can go to my website and book a reading you will find the link of the website in the description section of this video below okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye see you